Howdy folks, I'm Andy Tran with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. I do videos on the outdoors, survival, and DIY. I also upload twice a week. In this video, we'll go over three great quick release knots. You'll be surprised how many knots can be made into quick release by adding a bite. Here's a clove hitch with a bite, which makes it a quick release. Your shoes, for example, is a square knot with two bites, and it's quick release. The first knot we'll go over is a highwayman's hitch. To do this knot, the loaded or standing end is going to be in my left hand and the working end or the release end will be in my right hand. This can be tied on a ring or a pole to secure your line. To begin, we'll bring a bite and put it behind the anchor. You'll form a second bite in your standing end and pass it over your anchor and through your first bite. A third bite in your working end goes through the second bite and acts as a quick release pin. When you pull on the working end, the bite that acts as a quick release pin comes loose and the whole thing is released. Our second knot is the sheet bend with the bite. This works with very diameter ropes. To begin, we'll take the thicker rope and form a bite. We'll pass the working end of the second rope through the bite and loop the line behind. Instead of taking the working end and passing it underneath itself, we'll form a bite and pass the bite underneath itself. This is a good way to quickly tie a knot that is a quick release, but if you want something a little more secure to tie two lines together, and still want to be able to quick release it, check out the next knot. The Riverman's knot is similar to a double sheet bend and is used when you need a little bit more security than a standard sheet bend. A standard double sheet bend with a bite on it will not work and just turns itself into a standard sheet bend. This is where the Riverman's bend is similar but does allow you to use a quick release option. We'll start with the bite on the thicker line just like with a standard sheet bend. We'll pass the second line through the bite Instead of passing the working end underneath itself twice, like with a standard double sheet bend, you'll actually pass the rope on the outside of the loop. To finish this knot off, we will form a bite and pass it underneath itself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page Instagram, and other social media. It really helps you to know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take it out there. Bye.